Hey, what's up guys? It's Jace from Gen Z Reptiles and with me here today I have Benny. He's our adult male albino ball python and he was actually a sire to the clutch that we're going to be pulling today. He was bred to a yellow belly het albino. So let's get right into it. All right, there she is. And as you can see, she's sitting on some pearly whites and <laughs> she looks like she's ready to defend. So we'll go ahead and pull those out here in a second. All right, so we're gonna try to get her off of here and I just have a little rolled up piece of paper towel. It's soft, so that way if she were to bite, um, she'd get that instead of my hand and hopefully it would be a little less stressful for her. But we'll get those out. And there are five beautiful eggs. I got some weird stuff on them, but sometimes that's just the gunk that comes with eggs being laid. I also like to go ahead and run my hand down here to check and make sure it doesn't feel like there's any eggs left in there. And uh, you can see she's pretty slim right now and it feels like she's pretty empty. So that's a good sign. We'll go ahead and we'll stick her in a bath and then we'll get the eggs pulled. All right, so we have our eggs in the box and now we'll go ahead and candle them. So basically what we're looking for with this is veination. And so you can see right here, you have a bunch of little veins that are coming out. Um, another good indicator is if you get that general like redness color, that'll also be an indicator that you have fertile eggs. And uh, a lot of people, if they separate the eggs or the eggs are not attached, they will try to flip it so the embryo is sitting on top. Um, I, for me, usually if the eggs are attached, I'll just leave them all attached, even if they're not oriented with embryo on top. I've never had issues with them not hatching because of that. Um, but yeah, all of them are looking pretty good. And so at this point, we'll go ahead and we'll number them um, just for our own sake. And then we'll put yellow belly, het, albino, to albino. All right, so we'll get our press and seal on there to hold the humidity in pretty well. And we will get those right into the incubator. Um, check back in with us in about 60 days time. All right, guys, thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Also, if you want to see more reptile content, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Also, follow us on Instagram at Gen Z Reptiles. We'll post a link to that in the description below. And that's a wrap. So we'll see you next time.